Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're taking a look at another game based on a somewhat popular anime series, namely Blood Plus, which itself followed the animated feature Blood The Last Vampire, which I happen to like a lot. This game, which is just one of three games on the PS2 based on the series, was released in Japan only in 2006, and it was developed and published by Sony Computer Entertainment. The plot centers around Saya, a young girl, barely even a hundred years old, who battles huge monsters that feed on human blood called Teropterins. Apparently, she's the only person in the world that can defeat them because her blood causes their bodies to crystallize, which comes into play heavily during the game. So Saya wields a katana sword and joins a group of friends in the task of ridding the earth of these blood-sucking ghouls. I like it. The real meat of the gameplay in Blood Plus is that of an action hack and slash, with a more cinematic feel than you usually expect from an action game. Basically, by attacking enemies, you cause red crystals to fall out of them, and when collected, they build up a super attack meter under your health bar. When you land your super attack, the game shifts focus to a sequence of button presses to increase the power of the attack. Every strike that's landed here causes blue crystals to fall out of the enemy that act as experience points, allowing you to level up, increasing your health and attack power. And when their health is low enough, you can finish them off with a cool looking final attack. And that's about it for these sections. Just hack up your enemies, all different types of teropterins, pick up the occasional item for health and sub weapons, and collect as many experience crystals as you can. It's exceedingly simple, but it controls very well, it looks cool, and it's pretty fun. You sometimes have the opportunity to play as other characters if you really want to, but they're not nearly as fun to play with as Saya, but luckily, playing as them is totally optional. Though I will say, if you choose to play as Haji, every strike he lands earns experience points, so he is at least kind of useful. The rest of the game is pretty much spent watching cutscenes and waiting for quick time event sequences to pop up, and this is where Blood Plus can really drag. Some of these scenes are long, and you can't skip them on your first playthrough, although if you play through them again, you can skip them with the select button. Whether or not you're successful in the QTE sections, and depending on which characters you choose to play as in certain sequences, you can alter the direction of the story, but if you can't understand Japanese at all, you probably won't get much out of these segments. Even if you do speak Japanese, you'll likely just be waiting for them to wrap up so you can get back to some hacking and slashing. So while I do like the combat in this game, I'm not a huge fan of its focus on long story sequences. It's nothing too horrible, it just slows down an otherwise action-packed game. Overall though, I did enjoy playing through this one. The presentation in Blood Plus I think is really good, at least for a PS2 game, you can do a lot worse, but then again this is a game by SCE, and if nothing else their games pretty much always feature some great graphics and sound. 
I've said this before, translations of 2D anime into 3D video games isn't always flawless, but it's handled really well here. The characters do their anime counterparts justice. The colors, the facial expressions, the animations, it all looks really good. The enemies also come in a few different variations, and they look nice as well. Plus, there's a variety of different environments that you'll battle in, and while you won't be seeing anything too fantastic as far as locations go, they're all fairly detailed, and they definitely don't look bad. Nothing too mind-blowing, though. The sound design is good, but what you get here isn't a soundtrack so much as it's a score. It sounds more like something you'd hear in the anime which isn't a bad thing, and it doesn't sound bad either, it's just really forgettable. You won't hear anything here you'll be humming later or anything like that. A plus is that the Japanese cast of the anime do all of the voice work in the game, and I always appreciate that. It's an especially cool addition if you're actually a fan of the show. On the whole, good graphics and good sound, and good gameplay as well. It doesn't really shine in any one area, but it is an enjoyable game, and it does have really cool presentation overall. So if you like your hack and slash games, and especially if you're already a fan of the Blood series, then I'd be willing to bet you'd enjoy this game. It definitely has a certain charm to it. Also, good news, it's not a terribly expensive game either. If you go looking on eBay, you can probably find it for about 15 bucks on the low end and 25 at max, which I'd say is worth at least 20 It is pretty fun. If your PS2 collection is missing something in the way of cool anime style, katana sword swinging, blood drinking, monster killing action, then by all means consider picking up Blood Plus Soyoku no Battle Rondo. It's pretty damn cool. <laughs> I'm not sure if you're going to 